Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for July 9th, 2020. So yesterday, those bulls came back in pushing the uh, tech giants higher with Apple making new record highs, and that also pushed the NASDAQ to new record highs. But we have some really interesting dilemmas in this chart and kind or in our charts and kind of a challenging um, look this morning as we um, face another day of trading. So how about we buckle up, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's prepare for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we've got a really interesting situation going on here, and hopefully I can explain this well enough that it makes some sense to you. But we have this, we seem to have this real interesting dichotomy going on. We have new record highs in the NASDAQ, and at the same time, we set new record highs yesterday for COVID infections. We have the markets assumably unconcerned about the market rallying. However, we have the absolute breadth index declining and we have the VIX remaining elevated. It's a real interesting situation. We're, we're setting new record highs. Last time we were setting record highs, you know, um, at the first of the year, we were setting record highs. The VIX was like 15. The VIX is now trading at 28.29 and we're setting new record highs, and we're doing it with just a very select amount, uh, number of companies moving up, while the rest are just kind of locked in this sideways consolidation. No real sellers there. So a real interesting dichotomy, and I really feel like we have a potential um, to really hurt a lot of folks in this market. And here's what I mean. If you happen to be a just a rapidly long trader, like I can't see anything but long in the market, we have some concerns in the charts that could suggest we could get a full on bear attack. Um, as these COVID numbers rise and concerns and uh, recovery news is starting to not look so good. And then on the other hand, we have chart patterns and potentials of a full on short squeeze that could fire off ripping this market higher. So kind of an interesting situation. So if you're bearish, you could get hurt. If you're bullish, you could get hurt. And we're just really gonna have to stay on our toes with this interesting situation that we've got going on. So first off, let's take a look at what we've got here. If I, if I draw a trend right up through here, you can see that we have failed our uptrend and we have also uh, failed our downtrend. So we're kind of in this really odd place right now where we truly have contradictions in the chart where we could see the possibility of a little head and shoulders pattern starting to develop. Yet at the same time, we have bearish patterns such as an evening star pattern that showed itself here at price resistance. We're still struggling in the Dow to be able to whoops break above um, our 200-day moving average, yet we're holding above our 50-day moving average. We still seem to be challenged by resistance highs in the chart and bearish reversal patterns like this island reversal up here. Yet at the same time, we can find no sellers to do anything in the market. It's a very interesting situation and one, I gotta tell you, could um, produce just about anything. It's gonna require us to really stay on our toes um, because anything is possible. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, also very similar situation. We rose back up, we uh, we produced an, an evening star pattern. A Whoops, let me give the right tool here. We produced that evening star pattern with failures at this island reversal top. 
and that yet yesterday we could find no sellers to push that down. We have our potential here of a failure at that point, and yet we still have bullish signs with that 50 day moving average trying to cross up through and likely going to cross up through that 200 day moving average. And then if we take a look at this morning, we have a little bit of concern um, coming in here. We have the S&P 500 trying to show a little bit of bullishness this morning, while at the same time, the Dow is trying to show a little bit of bearishness this morning. Boy, it's just um, the back and forth in this is really interesting and leaving, um, it's kind of a perplexing market uh, to be sure. Now, if we take a look at the NASDAQ, there's no concerns here in the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ just continues to run higher and it's really being led by just a select few stocks. So we set a new record high yesterday and we're pushing for another um, rally here this morning as Apple um, really leads. And we've got Apple, Microsoft, Google, Facebook. Those are the companies that are leading the market. As a matter of fact, um, if you heard that news from um, CEO of Schwab, only 10% of the companies are accounting for 90% of the rally. That leaves a, a tremendous imbalance in the market and leaves us with a kind of a quandary. Do we continue to chase um, um, stocks like Amazon uh, at, at $3,000 and Apple at $381? How do, how do we really trade this with just such a select few being able to lift the indexes? Tough questions, tough questions to be answered for sure. And I got to tell you, I don't quite understand um, the dynamics of this market. I, I, I have this dichotomy where I see it could go both ways and I want to be a little bit careful and cautious. Another thing that I believe is really, really interesting is that we see new record highs being set in the indexes while at the same time we're seeing gold and silver run higher where we have those defensive sector type stocks running up as we have these um, new records being made in the market. Kind of an interesting situation. And I'm not exactly sure how this is going to resolve. Um, let's take a look at IWM. And, and by the way, guys, I'm not afraid to say I don't know what happens next. And as a matter of fact, um, I would tell you that I really don't think anybody can tell you what happens next um, with these current signals in the market anything is possible. So here we are again with IWM showing a failure at the 500, showing a failure at the 200 twice, which gives us that double top look, while at the same time we keep making higher lows in this chart. So we have this uh, wedge pattern or symmetrical triangle forming that really tells us we could go either direction here in IWM. Um, more interesting dilemmas to deal with in the chart. Let's take a look at the VIX. This is um, also one of those things that really kind of perplexes me in that um, when we're setting record highs as we were back here at the first of the year, as you can see here, our VIX was down here in the 11 to 14, 15 range, which is kind of a normal place where we hit those, hit those new records. What's interesting to me is that we're hitting new record highs, yet our VIX is staying very, very elevated as if, okay, we're trying to be confident, we're trying to put a brave face on this, but it's really not matching what we're actually seeing on some of the internals of the market. So we have this VIX that remains elevated. We continue to hold that VIX 200-day moving average, but we remain under the VIX 50-day moving average. Again, kind of that perplexing situation that tells us that we could have, depending on how news events or things occur, we could have that real fear spike come into play, or we could finally see those bulls really take over, maybe that market breadth start coming back and really see um, fear sink here in the market. Tough situation to determine. Let's take a look at T2122. 
T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And right now in T2122, we're also seeing kind of that I don't know what happens next um, in this chart because we have T2122 just floating around the middle here this morning, just kind of hanging out. We didn't, didn't quite make new lows. We didn't quite make new highs. We're confused here um, in the market and we're seeing that play out with the majority of stocks really locked in consolidations, locked below resistance levels, while just a few continue to lead the market higher. So an interesting situation. There's no direction here in T2122. And we're just gonna have to really stay on our toes and watch carefully what happens next. And please, please remain flexible because anything, and I mean anything, appears to be possible in this market. Um, it, it, it could be, um, it, it could just quickly reverse based on any news report. So just stay focused on price action and remain flexible um, as we continue to move forward. Let's take a look <clears throat> at um, our economic. Well, here, before we do that, let's take a look at T2101. Um, this is the absolute breadth indicator. So as the market's making new record highs, our absolute breadth indicator is showing us um, more declines, which means there are far more uh, declining issues than there are advancing issues in the market. So really interesting um, dynamic going on here as we continue to decline in our absolute breadth and set new record highs at the same time. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar <clears throat> has a little bit for us to be aware of, but you know, it's one of those interesting situations that's occurred here lately that <clears throat> we just kind of ignore some of the news. We have jobless claims coming in um, this morning before the market opened. And what that means is we could see um, with those jobless claims, um, anything. Um, right now we're looking, the consensus estimate is suggesting that we have a slight decline from last week. Um, three weeks in a row though, however, they have missed that, that the, the numbers have come in slightly higher than the consensus estimate. But the market has pretty much ignored it. And we'll want to keep an eye on that this morning as we progress. Um, I don't know if what the result will that will, will be this morning. Um, Keep in mind, we also have a natural gas report. We've got a Fed speaker today and the Fed balance sheet. But overall, pretty light day on that calendar. On the earnings front, we have, oh, 11 or so companies reporting earnings today. And we've got a few notables uh, today to uh, pay attention pay attention to um, WBA let's go to a daily chart here WBA reporting this morning looks like it is gapping substantially lower here this morning um, as some of these um, companies are reporting it's going to be interesting to see if they can actually support some of the numbers that they've been putting up um, if you take a look at bbby bbby reported yesterday after the bell i'm um, going to be closing 200 stores um, overall and you can see this decline they had a 50 percent decline in sales last quarter um, makes you wonder um, how much longer we can continue to push these kind of stocks higher um, in this current environment. Um, interesting, interesting situation. Um, also, you want to check um, BNED. BNED is reporting earnings today. Right now, we have a wide bid ask spread, meaning that they likely have not reported yet this morning. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Barnes & Noble has been a struggling company um, for um, some time and um, it'll be interesting to see how they report this morning. Um, FC, FC, Franklin Covey um, is reporting today. Looks like um, bid ask spreads just really wide, still no report on that. We've got Helena Troy 
um, reporting today, they are gapping substantially higher, looking uh, like a very strong report come out of Helena Troy, pushing through to new highs here in the chart. This is a consumer defensive company, household uh, goods. So kind of makes some sense in COVID land that um, a company like that could do pretty well. PSMT, PSMT, um, another defensive sector stock, discount store. It is right now ridiculously wide bid-ass spread as we wait for earnings here. Um, who knows what happens here? We've got a downtrend. We've got an uptrend. <laughs> um, who knows where we go from here on that stock? So keep an eye on that. And last that I have on the list today is a WDFC. Whoops. WDFC. Um, I can't type this morning. Uh, WD40 company, um, they are going to report it this morning, and you can see uh, um, another really ridiculously wide bid ask spread as we wait for that earnings report today. So kind of keep that one in your sights. Um, we we have that potential of that full-on breakout up here if we can get that good report notice that we've got this nice rally going on and we've broken through some considerable layers of resistance um, in the chart so watch that carefully let's take a look guys at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube also click that bell icon and if you feel that the video was worthy if you feel like it helped you in defining your day or um, how you might approach the market for the day um, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment it helps us continue to grow the channel and thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that I truly truly appreciate it um, hopefully you see that in the in these videos I'm not trying to make any predictions I'm not one of those guys that do that grandiose oh we're going to X number um, either up or down I don't do that I look at the price action of the chart and I look at those in um, uh, very simple things in the chart to try and to, det to determine where we're going and today kind of a difficult decision to be made in this market not really sure where we're going to go so I want to just echo again out there to be kind of careful and, and make sure you stay flexible um, don't get yourself sold all into one side here because this has that potential to go either direction and it could do it in a really quick way so watch that closely so with that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and one of the things i want to remind you of is every time i show a stock here i want you to understand that it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security whatsoever it's meant as um, an education tool and you should always be doing your own due diligence for every trade every stock let's take a look at um, uh, Pan W. Pan W had a really nice move yesterday. As you can see, we've been in locked in this little downward move and we've rallied up slowly here. And yesterday we took a nice pop up, uh, pushing up uh, pretty solidly here yesterday and looking strong this morning it looks like we are trying to gap higher as well now we do have to consider this price resistance over here in the chart um, as we approach that price resistance but pan w is looking pretty darn good overall let's keep an eye on that um, looking really really strong take a look at um, etsy etsy continues to remain strong if we take a look at some of my drawings here on this chart notice that we are just moving right up this trend and we've had just a few days of light consolidation here over toward the trend what we want to be watching for is that opportunity that this may pop on up out of there etsy uh, continuing to stay really strong and really benefiting from covid as people are staying home and buying things online I've been keeping a close eye on Boeing here. As a matter of fact, I own um, Boeing. So just so you know that I may have a bias. Been watching this closely 
as you know, they're trying to resolve their 737 MAX issues. And um, watching this closely in here for that potential. Yesterday it saw a little bit of a decline, but recovered. So if this can hold in this trend, this hold in this support area and start pushing on up, that's what I wanna see in that chart. So keep a close eye on it. Um, could go either direction here, but holding up and um, has that potential of coming back around. Take a look at AYX. I mentioned AYX yesterday and AYX pushing on through uh, to the upside. You can see we've got really nice trending pattern, breaking through all time high resistances, had a nice little pop through consolidation back and showing strength. AYX might be a place to look. Um, you should also be looking at some some of the defensive sector stocks that are showing some signs of strength. Take a look at Colgate Palmolive. Colgate has been um, rallying up. We um, ran into resistance up here, pulled back, and notice we're pushing back higher. I think the thing that I would be watching for in this chart is I need to see this level break. I need to proof that we can break out of there and hold and then I'd be looking at Colgate Palmolive. It's one of those good strong dividend payers, maybe something that you want to pay attention to if the market does begin to struggle. And as we say that market beginning to struggle um, or could be struggling, we're seeing precious metals just rally like crazy. So take a look at silver. Silver making a breakout here yesterday, showing lots and lots of strength. Keep an eye on silver or silver related stocks. They are showing a lot of bullishness here, uh, pushing on higher. And it looks like that is going to continue this morning with a gap up open here in silver. So keep that in mind. And by the way, I do own this as well so I may be a little bit biased. Um, GLD, GLD, I also own this. In fact, I have a, a, a beautiful profit in this trade. And GLD um, popped yesterday and pulled back a little bit. I am expecting some kind of a rest in here, a little consolidation, a little rest. What I wanna be watching though, is that possibility of that resting consolidation, setting up a new potential entry. So GLD might be one that you wanna put on your list and just keep an eye on in case um, it starts to come back around. So with that, everyone, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day and I wanna wish you great profits in your trading. Thank you so much for being here today, um, watching the video, and um, thank you so much for those of you who take the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are the best. Y'all take care, have a great day, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone.